Hello, my name is Eric, and I'm making a recording to put on, I guess, the garden web. I ain't sure uh, where I'm going to put it. i got a lot of different spaces. Uh, MySpace and YouTube and garden web and Twitter. I am putting nothing on Twitter. This might end up on Twitter. But I'm going to try to keep track of what i got growing in my garden. And if there's a way to upload videos, this is going on there. All right. This is... Uh, that's the lad near homestead. We just got our FEMA trailer out here. It's another reason I ain't been posting on anything because I've been in a FEMA trailer trying to rebuild my house. But anyway, this is some corn. I, I, it looks bad, but uh, that's mostly because it is bad. And here I got kohlrabi. It's just hit 90 degrees. I think that's too hot for kohlrabi, so I'm probably going to have to pull all this up in the next couple of days before it wilts into a mush. And I, I really, there's a lot of stuff in here just playing around. This is salsify, oyster plant. And this is parsnips. From what I understand, people up north like that. I got a little bit of onions in there. Me and Rachel get a couple of parsnips out every now and then. And we take a couple of carrots, a couple of potatoes, and uh, some garlic and onions out of the garden and make soup out of it. It's pretty good. Uh, this one here I just planted. I don't even remember what I put in there, but it'll be coming up in the next day or two. This is my wife's sunflowers that she planted around my little yellow squash. That's the yellow squash down there. Looks like it's gonna start producing. We've been getting worms in our squash. And here's one of these gr things with the grid on it. This is actually, this is supposed to be a square foot garden, but I don't have a regular grid. These grids, I just use this one and uh, I move it around. After the plants get a certain height, you gotta get it off there or it's stuck forever. This is a bed, it was just uh, onions and it didn't do too good because I got some kind of onion mite in there This is a square foot garden. I planted uh, four squares right down the diagonally of bush beans But I put okra in there and some jalapeno peppers and onion every every other grid and And some things that don't good do good for square foots, but they good for raised beds is this here is sweet potatoes this is, all of that is cardoon, which is like artichoke, but it don't make a flower that you eat. You eat the whole cardoon, all the leaves and everything. Down the center, I got some uh, tomatoes and bell peppers and cherry peppers and uh, other tomatoes, and they're all in pots. I don't know that I'm going to do that next year because you got to water them a lot more. Let's see, over here is peanuts. And a few broccolis I stuck in here. They're starting to put out something, but it gets so hot here. I don't think these broccolis are going to do much. Yeah, that's uh, these are broccolis, the big ones, and that's peanuts in the middle. Now this is a zucchini, and we were getting so much zucchini in here. I had too many plants. I, I wasn't getting anybody that would eat it except for us. So I went and left this one with a one zucchini on it. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it in here. I hope you can see that. It's about as big as my arm. That's what we're going to get our seeds out of for next year. And that's a, this is a this is actual artichoke right here. So we got four artichokes and a zucchini in this bed here. This is onions. No, this is garlic. I don't know why I even replanted in there because the other garlic didn't do that. I got a lot of garlic out of it, but it was kind of weird looking. There's more yellow squash and uh, artichokes and cardoon. This is strawberries, another waste. The only thing good about having a strawberry bed is if you put onions in it, the onions do real good. And this is asparagus, which you ain't supposed to plant down here, but I did it just because I'm, I don't know. Next year, we're going to put a lot of stuff up and just plant things that grow here. I, I can see myself having a whole bunch of zucchini and a whole bunch of tomatoes and cucumbers and um, in the wintertime, turnip greens and turnip roots. This here was a dog kennel. We built a little square foot a raised bed around it and set the dog kennel on it to trellis things. Uh, this that's sitting right here is a cantaloupe. It's called a banana cantaloupe. And I don't know if I, I might do that again next year. We'll see how, if it really tastes as great as they say it tastes. And let's see, beans. We pick beans off here at least once a week. There's a, there's a cucumber. I guess you can see it. Let's see here, yeah. That's a cucumber, just making a hook. I picked four of these things yesterday, or day before yesterday, and, and then pulled all of the little ones off because they had worms in them. 
And let's see, you get around here, here's some beans. And I just picked beans about three days ago and ate them, made a stir fry. Down here is more tomatoes. I don't think I got any red ones. Even though I didn't pick any yesterday, the day before I picked four. And no, but these are good frying tomatoes. There's the one that's getting ready to, that'll be ready to pick in a little while. I don't see any more cucumbers though. I hope I didn't kill them all or the worms didn't kill them all. Oh, and this is a mammoth pumpkin right here. That's gonna get, it can get 50 pounds. It's probably only gonna get about 25, but hanging on this fence, I'm kind of curious what it's gonna do. Okay, there's some a bunch of tomatoes. I wish I knew what they were. I've got them wrote down somewhere. I just, if I see a red tomato, I eat it. I don't really question it's where it came from or what its name is. I don't like to get too personal with them because I may not want to eat them. There's a, and it, one of these over here is called a Crimson Cushion, and it might be, it may be these. There's a little red one. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, there's another zucchini. And this is sunchokes. This here is something that I've never eaten up until this year. It makes a root tuber that kind of tastes like water chestnuts. And they're really prolific. And they actually call them a weed. I'm thinking about putting a whole quarter acre of my property in these things and just letting it go because I really can't cut grass anymore. It's getting too much for me. All right, here's some okras. You got some little ones on there. I just picked this too, so we don't shouldn't have any big ones, although they grow pretty quick. Once you get a little one, it only takes about a day to have a big one. Yeah, this thing was, I totally picked this yesterday. All right, and we're back over here. Here's some more okras, and I think that's a little jalapeno pepper right there. Somehow I forgot to plant eggplant this year, or the ones I planted didn't grow or something. I didn't, didn't see any, so I bought me two eggplant plants. Here's a sunflower, my wife, one, it's a giant sunflower. It's supposed to be the world record breaker as far as the, the uh, type of sunflower that it is. Here's another pumpkin, and he, he'll he get pretty big. And I think I'm going to have to learn to like pumpkin. More zucchinis and more okras in my little square foot garden. Now out here, something I've done is I've made, and you, you're going to laugh at this. Oh no, my wife has a little turtle. She just picked him up. Squeaky. It's Rachel's turtle. And the only reason she brought this in here is to be friends with another turtle she put in here yesterday that I accidentally hit with a weed whacker. And I think I took his eye out. His, he hadn't opened it since. He's in there hiding somewhere. We don't want to mess with him because he's trying to heal. But uh, there's some more squash. Oh, this is a watermelon that I'm growing on a trellis. This is a system that... I've never seen anybody else do, and it, it seems to make sense. We'll see. I, it's why I can cut the grass around them. You know, you put the plants up the trellis and leave the watermelon sitting down on the ground inside the, the bed. Somebody's going to claim that as their idea if they see this. There's more squash. Another watermelon. This is one I didn't watch too good. I knew there was a watermelon up there, but then by the time I got back around here, there was two of them, and they were so embedded I couldn't get them out. That, I have got this thing boarded up every way I can to keep it from caving in, but those watermelons are supposed to be big ones. I think they're Tennessee rattlesnake. All right, over here's another squash. There's another squash. And then back here's another pumpkin. And I think that's all of my regular garden of my vegetables.